Today's video is all about picking apart each of the six major striker roles in Football Manager, and we'll do this by addressing which key attributes each role over indexes in, as well as calling out who the archetype for each role is from recent footballing history, and we'll even throw in an FM24 wonder kid to add to your shortlist for each of the six roles as well. Shortest intro ever, let's fucking go. We're going to start with target forwards then, and in terms of archetypes for this role, look no further than Didier Drogba. King of Wembley, a big game player and an absolute unit up front for Chelsea, Marseille and Galatasaray. If you want a current player though, I would draw comparisons to Romelu Lukaku, who we discovered is one of the most OP players on the game in FM23. But let's take a look at where the over and under indexes lie for target forwards, shall we? So what I've done in this table that I will keep coming back to as we progress through the roles is draft what I believe to be a decent score for every non-hidden attribute that matters to strikers in Football Manager. And you can see that these green arrows represent where the score for target forwards over indexes against an average for the full six that we've compared. Heading, bravery, balance, jumping reach and strength are the attributes that have shone through at the expense, you might say, for things like agility, pace and dribbling particularly. Quite straightforward? Yep. Quite predictable? Maybe. We'd hope so because that's why we started with target forwards, who are the lumps up front that you try and hit with crosses and whom you'd expect to dominate in the air. So let's pick up the pace and move on to some more interesting findings. But first, I did promise you a wonder kid to scout for each of the major roles that we're talking through here. So if you're after a young TF for your squad on FM24, why not have a gander at Nelson Viper? He starts the game at Mainz and at 18 years old possesses some incredible physical ability including that all-important jumping reach of 14. And he's a determined bugger too, so you can expect him to develop very nicely indeed with a bit of nurturing. Moving swiftly into pressing forwards then, and when we think about pressing forwards, those who chase down opposition defensive ball players and hound the sweeper keepers into shitting their pants and ruining their clean sheets, then we think about one WKD fuel demon who's sadly no longer tearing up the Premier League, but is instead now running riot in the Championship with Leicester, Jamie Vardy. Yes, your pressing forwards are the energy drink fueled relentless bastards that chase down the ball when they're out of possession, and who ought to over-index in attributes like aggression, teamwork, agility, and if we're honest, probably stamina, which hasn't otherwise made our shortlist for striker attributes, but does matter here. It's less about heading, passing, and technique with these lot, and in terms of wonder kids to scout, if you're after a pressing forward, we'd point you in the direction of Jude Soonsop Bell, who won't be the cheapest to acquire on a permanent deal, but certainly one you might be able to pick up on a loan. He's got the work rate, pace and the makings of a great pressing forward, and he starts the game at Tottenham. Next we're talking deep lying forwards, and I'll point you at a chap who netted against Newcastle just a few days ago, when this video was made that is, in the Champions League for Borussia Dortmund, for our deep lying forward archetype, we're talking about Nicholas Fulkrug. And although he's listed as a target man in the game itself, we think that his above average passing and vision attribute scores set him aside as a perfect deep lying forward role model. He banged in a few goals during Germany's otherwise dismal display at the World Cup last year too, and I think that at the age of 30 he's flown quite under the radar during his career, in my humble opinion. But as to FM24's new changes, perhaps he's a late bloomer. Deep lying forwards need a bit of strength, dribbling skills and a decent first touch to complement those passing abilities, but for me the big one here is decisions, because these players are further back than your typical striker, and so choosing to attack the goal or pick out a teammate is a huge requirement of this role. They can work wonders with prolific inverted wingers and tactics that use inside forwards, and for a wonder kid, head to Real Madrid and snap up Noel Lopez from their youth system on a loan with an affordable option to buy clause if you're in the market for a DLF. Complete forwards. Erling Haaland, anyone? They've got the lot. They are closest to the average score because there isn't really any one thing that they specialise in. I've got them down as over-indexing on off the ball and strength, 
alongside dribbling, but honestly not much uniqueness here. It takes a very good set of attributes to pull off this role, and wonder kids wise, I can't guarantee you'll be able to sign him early enough for it to be achievable, but shortlist Samu Omorodion of Alaves, just in case he gets near his contract during your first few years of your first FM save. The man has physicals like you wouldn't believe for a 19 year old, and could be a real force to encounter in FM24. Penultimately then, we've got advanced forwards. Now, they are a dime a dozen in the Premier League at the moment. Your Ollie Watkinses, your Callum Wilsons, your Evan Fergusons, but if I think back to the archetype for this role in relatively recent history, I think about Luis Suarez. He was a very talented twat, and he tore up the Barclays as well as La Liga with his pace, ferocity, but largely his clever movement and dribbling ability, and it's these components where the role over-indexes against other attributes too. First touch, dribbling, off the ball, which is a striker's equivalent to positioning, complement the pace and acceleration that has them playing right off the back of the last defender, and according to our tests in FM23, gains them 50% more shots on goal because of the extra space that they can make for themselves. You want another wonder kid? Fine. Have Pau Sands of Zaragoza. He'll be in everyone's shopping basket soon because at the start of FM24, he is available via a release clause of just £1 million and he looks good for it too. Another quick shout out though that we would like to make at this point is to fminside.net whose website we've used to pull in player attribute data from the brand new Football Manager game. Also, why not subscribe to FM Immortal, where we like to think we do things a little differently. Last but not least then, we're focusing on poachers, your foxes in the boxes, your baby-faced assassins. I cannot think of a better set of poachers than the United legends Ruud van Nistelrooy and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The most important thing for a poacher to possess is anticipation. They've got to be Mr. Right Place, Right Time and take first time shots with good technique by reading the ball movement around them with the sharpest of reactions. Therefore, we would say that their unique over-indexing comes in the form of first touch, finishing, anticipation, off the ball and we'd give a special mention here to concentration as well. Your last wonder kid for today's video is Francesco Pio Esposito of Spezia, Italy, who for 18 years old possesses some really good mental attributes, completely covering those areas that we've just mentioned a good poacher ought to over-index in, and then some. Before you go though, there are three points on strikers I want to leave you with. Point number one. A player can learn a new position and their tactical familiarity can evolve with training and game time, but role familiarity is not a thing. So unless that player has the right attributes to suit the role to begin with, they're not going to be comfortable playing in a new role. Point number two, in a very similar sense, the best role you can allocate to a striker is his preferred one. As we discovered during the test where we put the same striker through tens of matches to simulate their goal and chance involvement, to see which role yielded the best results. And finally, the top attribute for a striker we now believe is composure. It hasn't actually featured much in today's video because I think it stretches across the board, but without composure, one-on-ones will never be a happy ending for your striker, and we say that we now believe it because when this channel was first incepted, we produced this video, which is still by far our most popular, but that we think is now going to need a refresh for FM24, and we will happily oblige. So hit that subscribe button and we will catch you next time. Adios.